super awesome stampers. This is super awesome stamper, Shirley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm sharing the party favor my tr my sister Trisha shared with her guests at our very first Pinterest party. So we had the guests roll her through the Bloomin' Hearts die, just as I'm doing now. And then we just had them assemble. And I'll show you how we assemble it. And first, though, before I show you the bag, I want to show you my sandwich. So I've got the magnetic platform. On top of that is the precision base plate. On top of that would be the paper and then the thinlet and then a clear cutting pad. All right, so let me get this situated where I need it. And then I will show you what we're making. So these are the party favor bags that we shared. Like I said, we had the um, guests big shot the thinlet. And then we had everything else to adorn the bag all ready to go. They stamped their sentiment. But I had everything cut. And it was easy peasy. So with the big shot brush, you just roll it over it a little bit gently. If this... The smaller one does not want to come out. I just use my paper piercer. I'm not going to use the brush to roll over that again because I don't want to tear the paper. But look at this. With our Big Shot brush, you just roll it over it gently because this is designer series paper and all of those chads will fall out. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, so here's our treat bag. These are the 4 by 6 cello bags. There's 50 in a package for $4.50. We're going to staple it shut with our handy dandy Stampin' Up! stapler. And then what goes on top is, and I'm just going to pull over here and show you the assembly. It was about four inches of silver satin ribbon. And as much as you like of the sequin trim, I probably cut it at about, oh, it looks like one, two, two and a half inches. A uh, regular clothespin, and then a metal rimmed pearl is on top of that. And all we did, since the cello bag is stapled shut, is just use the clothespin to adhere everything together on top of the heart, like that. And then you can just clip it to your cello bag, and you can gift it away just like that to your sweetheart. So here are the products that we used, or the stamp set that was used. Be Mine is right there. It's from Bloom and Love. This is the Bloom and Hearts Thinlets. And then the cello bags I'll show you are right here, page 151, the 4x6. We also carry the 1x8, the 6x8, and also the gusseted. So thanks for watching. This is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley. Bye. We're back. we got to finish assembling the heart here. So I used a uh, heart from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. Put a little bit of a, a half of a, a dimensional on there because a full one will not fit. I put that heart over that one. And these two smaller flowers, I put dimensionals over those. Now if you don't have extra sequins to cover up the dimensional glue, which I did where oh, on this one, you can use a little bit of your Dazzling Details glitter glue and that will cover up that um, the dimensional adhesive back to make it look a little more polished. Um, let's see, we used the Word Window Punch for that, uh, rose red ink to stamp the Be Mine. And then the paper came from, almost out of this one, the Love Blossoms Designer Series Paper Pack. It had quite a bit of hearts, it's hearts themed and rose red, blushing bride, crumb cake, garden green, whisper white, other colors in this pack. So on what you want to do, and actually it is a six by six piece of paper. You cut it at a diagonal and you can get two hearts out of one, one piece of six by six paper. So thanks for watching the epilogue. Bye.